Good afternoon, Westminster Woods on Julington Creek. Chaplain Leslie here bringing you our Thursday afternoon Thoughts to Grow On meditation for today, which is May the 13th. And so I am glad you have decided to join in this meditation. I pray that it will be a blessing to you on this day, that perhaps uh, you will be seeing some scripture in a slightly different way as I have um, been allowed to see. And, and I pray that uh, the words here will be ones that will um, encourage you and support you um, and maybe give you something a little more to think about on this day and in this week. So I invite you to sit back and relax and hear um, what I have to share. This gospel to lift up is from Luke chapter 10 verses 33 and 34. But a Samaritan as he traveled came where the man was and when he saw him he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. I was thinking about Nurses Week uh, this morning as we have just concluded Nurses Week um, and celebrating all the nursing staff here at Westminster Woods. And as I was thinking about our nurses, this scripture came to mind. I've never specifically thought of the Good Samaritan character in the parable as a nurse. I think of him as the neighbor, one neighbor helping another neighbor um, in response to the query of the teacher of the law as he gave that to Jesus saying, well, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? But I see this parable in a different way today. The Samaritan sees someone who is in need. He has compassion upon that person. He cares for him using the medical knowledge and tools that he has at hand. He removes him of, from a place of potential further harm and with risk to himself, takes him to an inn where he can be safe. He truly goes out of his way to help a stranger, to help someone who is in need. And he also is helping a stranger from a tribe, if you will, of people in his, in his world that he generally would go out of his way to avoid because the person he helps would probably have gone out of their way to avoid him. But isn't that description exactly what nurses do every day? Nurses here at Westminster Woods, nurses in all kinds of settings in our community, and not just at work, but at home and as they're out and about during any given day. Nurses see needs and using the skills and the knowledge that they have, they go out of their way to help a stranger. It's kind of at the heart of what nurses do. They do their best to alleviate pain and suffering. And I am in awe of what nursing staff does. Florence Nightingale, many of you probably know, I know our nurses know this, Florence Nightingale was the founder of modern nursing and she was a fascinating woman. If you've never read about her, it would be a good read to find out more about Florence Nightingale. She was also very passionate and had no fear when it came to shedding light on a profession that up until she came onto the scene had never been seen in a very good light. And so I was looking up a little bit more about Florence Nightingale this week and I came across the Florence Nightingale Pledge. Though not an official document, I wanna share it with you because I think it still contains, even though some of the images might be a little bit out of date uh, because it was written in the late 1800s, that it still is something of value that we might have uh, be able to see in our own lives today, whether, whether we're nurses or not. So hear this pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. 
With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Good words, still applicable to nurses today and maybe to each of us in particular ways. So a big thank you, a big, big thank you to everybody on our staff here at Westminster Woods as part of our nursing staff, whether you're part of administration, whether you're in the healthcare clinic, whether you're upstairs in the healthcare center or in rapid recovery or assisted living, any and all, I give you thanks and my deepest respect and admiration for all that you do for those who have been put in your care and for whom this place is your calling. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for nurses. They are amazing. And I pray that you continue to bless all of our nursing staff here at Westminster Woods and all nurses everywhere, especially those in this season that might be ready to graduate from nursing school. Help encourage them and continue to support them in all that they do in this wonderful calling that they have chosen. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Amen, good people, and until next time, peace.